Hello, everybody. Rory here. All right. So the card for this morning, there must have been a theme here with these cards. All right. So this card is called Calmness. Calm. Let's be calm. All right. Calmness. I will read it now. The inner divine is the witness of all. The inner divine is the witness of all. Hmm. That feels like our higher selves, right? Our ori. The inner divine is the witness of all. Remaining still and quiet, even during intense turbulence. Wow. So our inner divine is the witness of all, remaining still and quiet, even during intense turbulence. Okay. So take a deep breath in and say, quiet my mind. May your peaceful calm take over. All right. All right. So let's break this down. Yeah. Calmness. Okay. So this reminds me of neutrality. And that's kind of been the theme. Neutrality instead of focusing on loosh and creating more loosh. I think we got enough loosh on this planet right now. Sheesh. And monsters ain't jokers, you know. They can come up here and fill up on all this loosh on this planet. <sighs> My prayers is that it is finally releasing them. Anyway. All right. So the, the inner, divine, inner divine is the witness of all. So I feel like our inner divine is our higher selves. Our higher selves connects with um, our source, um, source okay um i feel like our inner divine our or we our source is up here like if you put your hands straight up in the air and clap them like maybe a few feet above your head i know you can't see with this you know and i don't have a cameraman right now so whatever so <laughs> so you're not gonna be able to see my hands but um that is where your connection is to source. And I feel like we are connected. We are interconnected with source, you know, with God, the almighty God, you know, there are many gods. So you got to be specific about which one you're talking about. Okay. So anyway, um, so we are connected divinely and I feel like our higher self hears and sees everything and because it has that divine connection it knows more than we know in our moments you know it if we're not tapped into it okay um but i feel like you can tap into your higher selves for your answers you know because your higher self isn't out there being emotional and being, you know, driven by whatever they see here or whatever, you know, it's sitting there looking and observing everything and connecting with source and knowing for you. But then you have to listen. How do you listen? How do you know? How do you know what you know? You know what I mean? How do you know? Huh. One thing you could say, I know, I know that I know. I know that I know that I know. I know this girl, she used to say that all the time. I know that I know that I know. Okay. So anyway, um, so our higher selves are, it, it is sitting there being still quiet, even during turbulent times and seeing through it all. So what if you joined it and just be still, you know, instead of flying off the handle, instead of reacting every time you see something, you know, um, because sometimes you need to be still for a little bit before you respond, especially before you react so that you can get a clear understanding. You know, I know for me being an empath, sometimes I see stuff and I'm still here as a person. So what the way I interpret what I hear, see or feel I have to make sure that I'm not included in that, you know, that none of my stuff is included in that. So I might not always say everything that I hear, see, or feel, especially if I'm doing a reading or something. Like I wait, you know, and I might get confirmation, 
on what I'm hearing, seeing, and feeling. So I might get confirmation. I might use the pendulum to get confirmation. Or I might use some oracle cards or something to get confirmation for what I'm hearing, seeing, or feeling before I respond, react, or do something, you know? Um, so I, I, I might spend more time, hmm. So I might listen first but I might not respond. And then I, you know, hmm, okay. Um, I know that we can misread things. I know that, you know, and that's the reason why I'm cautious because people will listen to me and I don't want to steer you the wrong way, you know, um, with half information. Because sometimes when we're intuitive, we might hear some, but we might not hear the whole thing, or we might see part of a picture, we might not see the whole picture. And so you've got to train yourself to know that you might not have all the pieces. You know, you, you got to kind of, this whole journey is about training yourself up, you know, learning about who you are, why you're here, what's your soul's purpose and all that good stuff. So anyway, um, spend some time being still and being quiet and talk to your higher self, listen to your higher self. Sometimes we have so much monkey mind, so many thoughts because we listen to so many people and we have so much on us from our life journey that we don't know what is our higher self. We don't know when we're hearing from God. We don't know when we're hearing from our higher selves. We don't know when we're hearing from our ancestors. We don't, we don't know, you know what I'm saying? And because we got so much stuff, we don't know if that was somebody else's words or that was the television programming that we don't know if we're listening to some programs because we have been programmed. OK, if you watch the television, you have been programmed. So so you hear these words, you don't know it was from the television, you know, back in the day, it might have been from the newspaper. Um, we don't know, you know, so you got to get to that point where you can know to get there, meditation, breath work, connecting with spirit, releasing. When I say meditation, I don't just mean being quiet because sometimes you quiet and it's still loud, okay? You may need some guided tools, some guided visualizations to help you release all the other stuff so that you can hear clearly, hear and see clearly. And I'm gonna tell you, it could be as quickly as this that you can hear and see clearly, or it could take you a while, you know? It took me a minute of training myself to be able to hear and see clearly. And I did not do it on my own. <laughs> and I asked for guidance all the time. And I still do. I ask for guidance every single day, every step of the way. So ask for that. Ask that you can hear and see clearly what it is that you're supposed to know on whatever the subject is, you know? Speak it out. I know everything that I need to know on the subject. Because the more you speak that out, the more you will attract that to your existence. You'll attract that to your being, okay? So speak speak out what it is that you desire. Even if it is not the truth in that moment, still speak it out. You know, one of my first mentors, Bob Proctor, <laughs> he was my mentor through VCR team, <laughs> VHS or whatever you call it. And he used to say, if you tell yourself a lie long enough, it'll become your reality. And so I did that. I spoke out affirmations. I spoke out what I desired to attract and I spoke it to the first person and I said what it was I desired. Did I get frustrated sometimes? Yes, because I didn't see it on the physical plane. <laughs> and then I'd say, I know it's here, it's manifesting. I just can't see it yet. <laughs> and sometimes I get mad and I snatch the affirmation off my mirror or whatever, because at one point I used to put them on my mirror. <sighs> I've had them on my walls before, affirmations on my walls. I remember one time I had this wall. The wall was maybe, how many feet wide was that wall? Maybe 
the wall might have been four feet wide and a regular size wall in a house, like an older house, you know, so the ceilings weren't that high. And um, that wall was full of pieces of paper <laughs> with positive affirmation on it. <laughs> it really looked crazy. You probably would have thought I was nutty. Um, but I manifest through writing. That's one of the, I feel like it's a gift and ability for myself, but I manifest through writing. So I do this, I call it magical writing, right? So I, I write down things and they manifest. I even used to have this journal and I know I'm digressing so much, but I had this journal and um, this was back when I practiced faithfully with the um, SDI Buddhists, right? And so I used to practice with the Buddhists and I used to chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Um, and I say faithfully, because I still practice, but I don't fat practice like I did then, right? And so I was told that um, if you chant a certain amount of time, da, da 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 miracles happen, blah, 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 right? And so I would chant a certain amount of time every day. Um, I would chant for an hour a day. This is what I used to do. I chant for an hour a day. And then one day a week, I chant for three hours because, um, the president Ikeda, he had said that if you chant for three hours, miracles would happen. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna chant for three hours, at least once a week, right? And I did that, right? <laughs> and so um, I had, at the time, I was in another house and I had a meditation room in the house. And in the house, I had my altar set up and everything. And I had a journal there. And so I would write down my prayers and desires. And I did it in my magical writing way. And then um, I would check off when I would receive what it was. Like, I, and it was like amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, right? I was like, wow. Like I'm looking at myself manifest all these things that I'm writing down, right? So anyway. <laughs> Where that story came from, I don't know. But let's go back to this card. <laughs> let's go back to being still. You can be still like that. You know, you can meditate and, and um, do positive affirmations, positive visualizations, visualizations to release what's no longer serving you, release other people's energy from you so that you can hear clearly from your higher self and from source. Um, you can chant, you can do whatever you feel called to do spiritually. You can sing, you can sing praises. You know, sometimes I listen to drumming. I listen to African music. I love it. Sometimes I like gospel music. Um, let's see, you know, I, and I don't, I'm gonna I'm just be honest on this one. Cause when I said that I had to, I have to correct myself. I've grown up, I'm a PK. I've grown up on gospel music. However, like, some of my most recent experiences with gospel music were disappointing because um, it felt similar to secular music in, in the way that I have to pay attention to the words coming out of my mouth because words are powerful. So if I am speaking and singing, chanting these words, to this music and I move by music, Move music moves me, okay? Gets me connected with the spirit, okay? And so when I'm being moved by this music and I'm singing these words, and let's say these words are low vibrational, okay? Cause that's what I started to notice. So not just the music that's on the radio can be low vibrational. You know, the secular, secular music, that's what they call it is low vibrational, like, because you listen to some of those songs, oh my stars, like I'm listening to stars say stuff like, they ate somebody's heart and I'm like, what the hell, what, what, what? Um, you know, like just some of the stuff, you know, like I'm on this demon time now, I know that demon time is some app or something, I don't know, uh, I, I just heard that, that is an app or something, but like, I, I don't want to repeat that because, you know, I, that is speaking some serious stuff that don't vibrate with me. Okay. I'm just saying. 
so I started noticing that in the gospel songs, I was like, like I'm, I was at church, like I was going to this mega church locally here in the DMV. And I was looking at the words on the screen as I was singing them. And I was like, I don't want to say that. I was like, woo, wow. Like, like I remember one of the words was like, I'm not worthy. Really? Yes, I am. I ain't saying that. You know what I mean? And then, and then, so I really started paying attention and I was like, I really gotta be mindful of the things that I say because for me, music moves my spirit. So if I am speaking out a bunch of negative shit ago, while I am singing, that's, that's like me casting a negative spell on myself, okay? So, so anyway, quiet your mind and pay attention so you could get connected with your higher self, with source, so that you can know. You know, in another video, I talked about knowing, like I can hear in a sentence where the bullshit is, okay? So like with people that play on words, a lot of people play with words, especially political people, people on the television, they be playing with words, okay? And they will say something and it'll sound right, but you don't realize that they played on something. You know what I mean? Like a person could say, I have never had a contract with so-and-so in this other Asian country, blah, 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 to do this specific thing, right? But, well, who did you have a contract with there? Okay, because you had a contract with somebody, but it, you specifically said the sentence like this because you were playing with the words, okay? Because you, 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 you had a contract with somebody else then. Or maybe it wasn't for this, but it was for that. Or maybe you're calling it this and I call it that, okay? All right? So when you connect with source, when you connect with your higher self, you can hear the bullshit, okay? When you connect with your higher self, those of you who are looking for your mate, you're gonna know that that's your mate. You're gonna know when a guy is telling you or a woman is telling you what you wanna hear, okay? We have all been suckers for somebody telling us some bullshit and we believed it, okay? Me included, all right? So. Once you tap in, so that's why it's so important to tap in and raise your vibration. Furthermore, when you raise your vibration, you might not attract as much as the bullshit all right? But when you're on your journey, you might start attracting some stuff just to, to kind of test. I'm not trying to say you're going to have a test, but sometimes you have a test so that you can have a testimony. You know how they say in church, you get a test so that you can have a testimony and you get a test so that you can grow and you can learn. You can learn from your experiences, all right? And not all tests have to feel turbulent. Like I've said before, a test does not have to feel like a disaster, you know? A test could be just exactly what it is, you know? I was talking to a young lady and um, she was telling me how much she hated her job and how much she can't wait for certain things to happen in her life. And she was starting to make some decisions and they were being made out of her anxiety. And I had to stop her. And I said, look, slow down. Because what you're doing right now, you're about to make a mistake because you are moving from angst and you're making decisions from a place of anxiety. And that's not where you, that's not where you go to when you want to make a decision. You want to be calm. You want to be cool. Be calm, be calm. Whether it be cool, be cool, be calm, be calm, be collective. Right on. Was that a cheer? <laughs> Back in the day, we used to do these ghetto cheers with the hair clapping and stomping. Okay. So anyway. Yeah, she was about to make a decision that was going to affect her life seriously because of angst. 
So I had to tell her, stop, breathe, get back into your stuff. You need to get back into practice doing your work on yourself, on your spirit, on your being, on your essence. You need to get back to that before you make any kind of decision and stop giving yourself a deadline. If I don't have this by this time, I'm gonna do that. No, you better stop before you make a big old mistake, okay? So it, it, it's better to just slow it down, calm it down. Get yourself one, become one with source and then allow what it is that you desire to come, okay? Because it could, it could happen just like that, all right? You have to know it and you have to have absolute certainty in things you can't see, okay? That's why in the Bible it says, what is it, ye who have, um, what is it? The mustard seed one. <laughs> if you have the faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain or something like that. Ye who have faith, whatever. Okay. You have to have that absolute certainty because when you do, all things are possible. All things are possible when you have absolute certainty. You have to have absolute certainty. You have to know before you can see it. You have to know before you can see it. Once you know it, then you'll start to feel it coming. But you might be feeling it for a year. You might be feeling it for two years. Be like, where the hell is it? I know I can feel it. <laughs> Maybe you feel it because it's over here on this dimension right here. It's on the parallel dimension. It's on the dimension right next to us. And maybe it's already happening over there. And you're feeling it because it's coming. It's coming around the mountain. You know what I'm saying? It's coming. You know what I mean? So the you in another dimension is feeling some stuff. And, and this dimension is just waiting to get it. You know what I mean? And then you can bring that. You bring that energy into your being, you know? And, and I think that's how I get through a lot of things that I might not like, you know? But you you have to kind of release the thought the thoughts about the things you don't like stop focusing on them you know what i mean like give them less time you know like don't focus on them so much do something that you love doing before you do what you hate doing and then do some more stuff you love doing after you do what you hate doing so that you can balance it out you know don't don't just do everything you hate all day long. Cause some people don't like their jobs, okay? Or their work, you know, they don't like it. And if you don't like it and you have to do it cause it's paying the bills, okay? Or somewhat paying your bills, you know, but you need it, right? I, I, or that's what you think. So you may have to still do those things that you dislike, but do them in moderation figure out how do I do this and feel good at the same time figure that out now it's hard for me to tell that to a collective I would have to speak to you one-on-one -on -one to help you come up with solutions so that you can enjoy your process but when I work with her we came up with solutions we did a healing so we did some healing work together and I kind of helped her release some things so when I do the healing meditations and visualizations with you the the wonderful thing about that is I know where to go to help heal and release things that you may not know how to touch you may not know how to do that and so and then it comes to me what you need to do so um all of these are things that you can all do to tap into that divine your inner self your your higher self tap into that because your higher self knows a lot like i used to go outside for the answers all the time really ridiculous. And I used to spend money going outside for the answers. And I used to seek intuitive guidance all the time, you know, and I had one main girl, no, I had two that I would go to all the time. I have not seen both of them. And maybe, I don't know, 
I don't know. Time is flying so fast. I don't even know anymore how long, how, how many years it's been because time is going like this. Every time I wake up, it's Monday. Every time I go to sleep, it's, it's Friday. <laughs> like, damn. It's, you know, the time is really has really sped up. But anyway, I am digressing and digressing off the digress. Okay. <laughs> So you guys, I hope I was able to give you some food for thought. Definitely be calm, cool and collective and allow yourself to tap into your higher self. Your higher self knows a lot of your answers. You may not have to go outside if you would just be still and release the monkey mind so that you can hear clearly what is going on. Your higher self can help you, okay? All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. I will chat with you later. Hasta mañana. <laughs>